We are completing the Nordic countries. Maybe we're not. I can't remember. Possibly. Possibly with doing Shark Vidal Finland. What? First on the channel with Finland. It's despite the fact what Rhett McLaughlin will say about its existence, it's on here and we're doing it now. Let's do it. I would say we we have yet to complete the Northern European places, but this is this is getting us at least a step further. Right? Yep. Let's dive yep. in. Three, two, one. Ah, Finland. <laughs> Let's talk about this place that I totally have no preconceived biases towards. <laughs> it's time to learn geography. No! <laughs> oh, wow. What is that? That is Harry Devilbird. Got Otherwise it. known as, I believe that's an emu. Emu. Not moo as in cow, apparently. Yeah, for our Australian folk. Mew. Whatever, man. Hey. Uh, but, so, yeah. So yeah. I guess after this, we're doing Geography Go, uh, Finland. That would be good. That would yeah, be good. This is, this is only 12 minutes, man. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, everybody. I'm your host, Barbie. Welcome to the dark sheep of Northern Europe. All the other Nordic countries are like, la, 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 la. while Finland is like, <laughs> we'll get into the heavy metal thing in a bit. <laughs> First. <laughs> I bet you'll have a little something to say about that. I, I'm pretty sure I part. will. I'm pretty sure I will. <laughs> now, just remember, Finland is Nordic, but don't call it Scandinavian. There's a huge difference. That title only belongs to Sweden, Denmark, and Norway. First of all, Finland is located in Northern Europe, lying on the Gulf of Finland and the Gulf of Bothnia, east of all that Scandinavian stuff. To the west, they border Sweden on the Torne River, or the Tornionjoki, until it reaches the tri-point border with Norway at the three-country Cairnstone. And to the east, they border big ol' Russia with another tri-point border with Norway that looks like this. The country is divided into 19 regions, or Makunta, with the autonomous region that we'll talk about a little bit later, and the capital of Helsinki located in the south on the Gulf of Finland, which is also the second most northern capital in the world after Reykjavik, Iceland. The country also wow. owns about 180,000 islands, the highest concentration of which found in the Baltic off the coast in the Oland Archipelago. Keep in mind, parts of Finland also lie within the Arctic Circle. That's how far up north they are. And the three busiest airports are Helsinki, Oulu, and Rovaniemi. Now my favorite part, territorial anomalies! First of all, with Russia, there are too many split islands in Penne and Claves, the islands of Aikaniemi and Sursari, Tarasin Sari Islands and Lakes, the island in the Koitayoki River. Seriously, just play around with Google Earth and see how many you can find. Finally, we get to Sweden and things get interesting. Most of the borders with Sweden run along rivers that eventually flow into the Torne River, and then we get a strange golf course that is split between the two countries in the town of Tornio and Sweden. Not only that- Yeah, let us know where that one is. That's you crazy. Go so you could golf in two different countries at the same time. Yeah. Open borders, man. They're crazy. Wow. <laughs> Wow, man. Ah, but then you have the strange Market Island right next to Oland in the Gulf of Bothnia, which has an inverted S-shaped border. It had to do with the lighthouse that was built belonging to Finland, but then Sweden was like, hey, it's too close to our side of the island. So they drew a border that was like this to give each side equal shares of the land. See this <laughs> archipelago cluster of islands right here? Yeah, it belongs to Finland, even though most of the people here speak Swedish. Oland is Finland's strange little administrative anomaly. Long story short, it used to belong to Sweden, but then the Russians took over it in addition to Finland. Finland. Then after the Russian Revolution, Finland became free, and then the UN decided Oland should belong to Finland with autonomy. But then the Soviets started attacking again, and then Finland was like, nope, and then fought back relentlessly defending themselves and Oland, and Sweden just kind of sat there and didn't really do much for Oland as they decided to stay neutral. Finland defending Oland was kind of like the turning point. Now it's kind of like, Oland! Come back to me! Look, Sweden, we had some great times, but you kind of really didn't do much for me when things got crazy. I mean, Finland defended me, okay? And he treats me well, okay? His tax incentives are great. It's it's time to move on. It's not me. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> Oland. Also, <laughs> Finland kind of threatened that if Oland was ceded back to Sweden, they would demand the Tornio Valley. Now, before the whole... Oh, man, that's some... Whew. That's some drama right there. Hmm. Wow. Tale oldest time. Oh, yeah. Man, 
Mm -hmm. Soviet thing, Finland operated the regions of Karelia, Sala, Kusamo, Petsamo, and some extra islands in the Gulf. After the wars with the Soviets, these regions were all ceded back to Russia, effectively cutting off their access to the Arctic Ocean. Very quickly, some notable sites and landmarks would have to be the old castles like Savonlina, Hamenlina, Olavinlina, and the most renowned Suomenlina. You can probably guess what Lina means by now. Rovaniemi is otherwise known as the home of Santa Claus, where you can go reindeer sledding. Inari and Ivalo is where you can get a real Sami traditional cultural experience. Of course, Helsinki is the epicenter of Finnish architecture and culture, with landmarks such as the Tempeli Aukia Church excavated into a rock, Mannerheim Street, the busiest road with all the shops and austere post-Soviet influenced blocky colonnaded buildings, or the iconic Helsinki Cathedral. Now those are all great, but Finland isn't really much of a tight metropolitan type of country. They love their space and have quite a bunch of it. Let's see what lies outside these cities, shall we? Alright, before that, <clears throat> I heard that you can actually visit the North Pole, Santa Claus. Like, like it, when they ma when you mail a letter to Santa Claus, that's where it goes in Finland. Let no me way. That's awesome. Santa letters Finland, or maybe it's another one. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. Santa's post office in Rovaniemi, Finland. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Santa Claus's main post office. That's where it is. <laughs> that's crazy. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. Maybe they were going to say it in... Barb's going to say it in here. Maybe I stole his thunder. It's, I don't know. Yeah, right, man. It's all right. That's awesome, yeah. though. Yeah. Now, if you want me to make this simple, some would argue that Finland is the best winter wonderland in the world. I mean, Canada's cool, but they have too many bears, and Iceland is too explodey, and Russia is too cold. Seriously, though, the land is generally flat except in the north by the border with Norway in which the highest mountain can be found, Mount Halti, although the peak is in Norway. However, in 2017, Norway plans to give Finland the peak for their 100th anniversary of independence from the Soviets. Finland is just wonderfully crisp and refreshing, usually ranking in the top three countries in the world with the cleanest air quality. This is partially because Finland is almost 80% covered in forests, one of the wow. highest concentrations per ah. square kilometer in the world, only behind countries like Gabon and Suriname. This makes Finland Finland, the largest producer of wood in the EU and one of the top in the world. Not only that, but Finland has about 188,000 lakes, most heavily concentrated in Lakeland. Wow. And in addition to lakes, about 10% of the country is comprised of all water bodies like rivers, ponds, and streams. When mixed with the land, this makes about one third of the country home to swamps and bogs, making it the highest wetland proportion country in Europe and disputably the world. Eh, maybe. But our floods are crazier. Fittingly, the name for swamp in Finnish is suo, and the word for Finland is suomi. I mean, Technically, they also have like nine other words for swamp, like Rame, Neva, Leto, Luta, Laiteko, Apa, Paisa, Yanka, and Korpi. And they love these swamps. One Finnish pastime is jumping in the mud, sometimes naked, and either playing soccer or wrestling. The landscape of Finland is shaped that way. Okay, who in Finland jumps in the mud and has fun with it? Let us know below. Yeah, please, please, because that's that's, that's that's awesome. That's the way yeah. to do it, right? That's quite animalistic. Hell yeah. Yeah. Mud, sometimes naked, and either playing soccer or wrestling. The landscape of Finland is shaped that way because imagine what happens when you crush something under a heavy glacier for a really long time, and then after the glacier melts, you're left with pockety erosion and mineral residue all over. Not only that, but Finland is experiencing a post-glacial rebound in which the land is steadily rising along the coast of the Gulf of Bothnia. Every year, Finland gains about seven square kilometers and is technically rising out of the sea. The longest river is the Kemijoki that passes through Lapland and reaches the Gulf of Bothnia. And the largest lake, as well as the fourth largest in Europe, Lake Saima is located in the southeast. Because Finland is so far north, they are known for being the land of the midnight sun, as during summer you can literally see the sun for 24 hours wow. a day in the northern parts by the Arctic Circle. And of course in the winter times there's hardly any sunlight at all, but if you're lucky you can witness an aurora borealis, especially in the northern parts. Oh and by the Yeah, yeah. That right there. That's I think we talked when we did the whole Sweden um darkness one. Yep. Uh, that's something we would love that's, to see. That's a bucket list right there. That's a bucket yeah. list item. Yeah, the midnight sun, and more, more importantly, the um, what do you call those things? The aurora borealis. Yeah, or aurora borealis. If that's if I'm even saying it right. Yeah, man. Yeah. 
it's beautiful any man. sunlight at all yeah. but if you're lucky you can witness an aurora borealis especially in the northern parts oh and by the way the national animals are the whooper swan and the brown bear finnish agriculture is of course very standard for northern european countries lots of rye wheat turnips potatoes and of course fishing is huge out here however due to the abundance of lakes and rivers Finns prefer their own domestic freshwater fish like perch xander wow. and miyuku as opposed to the sea fish speaking of which coming to finland chances are you will eventually try reindeer meat in some shape or form whether in stew or grilled in lapland you might even find bear on the menu you can try mami wow. a pudding made of rye and of course every Finn will make every visitor try this strong salty salmiaki they love salmiaki so much that they made it into an ice cream and it's so good and i'm so mad they don't sell it in my hometown all right in the winter time they oh my god so before like that reindeer and bear yeah you eat that stuff yep bucket list right there i got Ooh. to at least once at least once Oh. I don't want to. I don't want to eat Rudolph. Yeah, but I mean, I, if I'm gonna eat reindeer, might as well eat reindeer's predator, which is the bear. So I was like, hey, yeah, let's do it all. Right. Let's or all. or red noses. Oh, red noses. Yeah. Hopefully, they don't serve them with those. Yeah. Yeah. They made it into an ice cream, and it's so good, and I'm so mad they don't sell it in my hometown. All right, in the wintertime, they build ice hotels, and there's, like, this cool waterfall in the Paratisikuru area in the Uru Kekkonen National Park. Okay, let's talk about Finnish people. All right, ice hotels. Ice hotels? You got me. I'm there. Yeah. You know, if 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 life gives you ice, that's make the old— Make hotels. Yep, yeah, make hotels. That's the old—a tale as old as time. The one person we checked out— uh who did the Japanese vending machines. I think she has a video of staying in one of these ice hotels. Ice hotels? Yeah. Oh so may maybe if y'all want to see that, let us know below. I mean, that's one place I can guarantee you, you won't have a very warm bed. Or maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. But it's an ice hotel. What the hell? All right. <sighs> Okay, if you go to Finland, you will most likely experience a rather intense yet intriguing social construct. First of all, the country has about 5.5 million people and is the most sparsely populated country in the EU. The country uh -huh. is about 90% ethnically Finnish, about 6% are Swedish, and the rest is made up of everything else under the sun, like Russians, Estonians, Asians, and Africans. They use the Euro as currency, they use the type CEF outlets, and they drive on the right side of the road. Of course, the Finnish people speak the Finnish language, which is arguably one of the hardest languages on earth to learn. Conjugation is a mess, nouns and adjectives have inflection reactionary forms whatever that means. Nonetheless, Finland has one of the best schooling systems in the world. In Finland, school hours are shorter, less homework is given, and there are virtually no mandated standardized tests apart from the exam you take in your final senior year of high school. Wow. Also, if you get your PhD, you have the option to get a sword and a top hat along with your diploma. This is also- Man, those two right there, short times in school, no, almost no homework. One test is at your end of your senior year. At college, you get like a, a baton and a hat. A sword and a hat, I'm there for it. Baton, that's what I meant. I, I say baton. Yeah, I said, said baton. I mean to say sword. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. I, I was just so messed up by that, that <laughs> by in American education and compared to this, that I said baton. PhD, you get a sword and a top hat. I'm there for that, man. Heck yeah. Let's, yeah. Man. Mm hmm. Also why Finland is one of the most English friendly countries in Europe. Children are taught Good. around ages 9 to 11 and most people of the younger generation can at least hold an impressively fluid conversation. Finland is actually a conscription country in which all men ages 18 and up are required to serve either in the military or civilian services anywhere from 165 days to a year depending on the type of service applied for. Oland Islands are exempt from the military conscription but are required to serve in some kind of institution like the Coast Guard or civil services. Finnish culture is actually pretty funny. The stereotype is that Finland are incredibly quiet and don't talk that much in most public transactions. Just mind your business and no small talk. The cartoon Finnish Nightmares illustrates this concept pretty well. Check it out. Which is funny because Finland is huge on the boisterous, loud, and flashy heavy metal culture, having the highest concentration of heavy metal bands out of any other country in the world with nearly 650 per 1 million residents. Finns also invented 650 per 1 million residents? Yep. yep, and if you go back one frame, you'll see the band... That has shaped my channel, not that one. But yeah, that's uh, that the is other country in the no one, one more. I think one more the world with nearly six hundred and fifty. That one. That's Nightwish. Nightwish. No. Yes. Nightwish. Yeah, Nightwish. So that has shaped my channel. I think out of all the music I've done, I think Nightwish 
I've reacted to them like uh I think I, there's 125 reaction videos. Wow. For songs. So overwhelmingly Nightwish. So they are to your channel what Oasis was to ETS 21. Yep. And Eurovision is to ETG 21. Yep. That's it right there. Wow. Crazy. Crazy, man per 1 million residents. Finn's also invented the wife carrying competition in which a man must carry either his wife or girlfriend or any girl that agrees to get tossed around in an obstacle course and the winner gets the women's weight in beer. It's very strategic because if you want to win, you might want to carry a lighter wife, but if you want more beer, whew, you better do your squats, bro. Now, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that's great. Oh, that's man. great, dude. Oh man, I, I better find me a Finnish uh, uh, lady. Man, man, her weight in beer. Yeah, that's awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. Wow. Oh man. Okay. Oh man. Whew. And you might want to carry a lighter wife, but if you want more beer, whew, you better do your squats, bro. Now, if you must know one thing about Finnish culture, you have to know about sauna. The Finns invented the sauna. Most homes, hotels, and apartments have a sauna built into them. They actually had a sauna competition at one point, but then a Russian guy died and they had to kind of cancel it. Overall, though, Finns are kind of brought up in a mindset known as sisu. It's kind of hard to explain the exact definition of it, but it kind of means something like guts or determination and never giving up, which really helped them along the fight with the Soviets. Sisu is to Finland what Jantelouten is to Denmark. There are so many other things I wish we could talk about, but we're running out of time. Angry Birds? Is that Hold Angry on. Birds? Jantelouten yeah, is yeah. to Denmark. There are so many... Okay, so Angry Birds... Uh, what is... Some, the no, Nokia? Is, is that, that Nokia? Linux? Linux, yeah. Nokia? Interesting. Yeah. Maybe he'll, they'll talk more... He'll more talk I more about so. it in that vlog. Wow. So many other things I wish we could talk about, but we're running out of time. But we do have time for friend time. Historically, Finland was kind of always a little lonely. I mean, few, if any, trading routes ever went through this area. Even the Mongols were like, eh, we're good, nah, yeah, carry on. Nonetheless, over time, Finland did develop relations and to this day is one of the most diplomatically outreached countries in the world. I mean, the Finnish passport is the number one ranked and most sought after as it has the highest number of visa-free countries applied to it. First of all, nice. Finland generally gets along with other Nordic countries. However, they have the biggest frenemy relationship with Sweden. They'll trade and share a beer or two, but when hockey season comes, the bloodbath begins. When it comes to Russia, Finland kind of has to be their friend because Russia has the longest border with them and business is important. Nonetheless, Russia is kind of seen as like the next door neighbor that you once got into an argument with, but then you kind of fix things up, but then you kind of really didn't get over it. And then you have to see them every other day in the morning as you go to work. Germans are always welcome in Finland and Hungarians are like the long lost distant cousins that they just discovered and are trying to build a relationship with. Their best friends though might be Estonia and Norway. Everybody loves Norway. It's like the Cameroon of Europe. Norway. All right, so. This is stuff we could have learned just by looking at Eurovision, but a lot of the uh, friendships between European countries uh, are highlighted in this one too. Yeah. So uh, we've got two paths to learn who likes who in Europe and who hates who in Europe. Okay. has never had any controversy with Finland, and with the recent mountain gift proposal, relations are only strengthened. Estonia is like the nagging little sister that tries to imitate her bigger brother. I mean, they both even have the same national anthems. But in the end, they are family, and Finland always loves her. In conclusion, Finland really is a winter wonderland, with quiet people that transform into metal monsters after a pint of long drink, topping their days off, baking themselves in human ovens for fun. And with that, we finish the Finnish episode. Ah, you waited for that for over 10 minutes. Stay tuned. The f mass, the country that must not be named is coming up next. Winter Wonderland, Santa Claus, metal, uh, saunas. What more could you ask for? And yeah. meat. And meat. Um, I'm sold. I'm yeah. sold. Like, hey, listen, everyone loves hoodie season, jacket season. You know, you just don't get the, the, you definitely have the beaches, but not the sunny tropical beaches. You have right. the north beaches, which I'm, I'm fine with too. I'm fine with too. Yeah. Yeah. So man, it's a beautiful country. Beautiful. Country. It is absolutely. And, uh, here's the, uh, I'm going to pull up the geography go Finland Let's and Estonia. It. What? 
Whoa! Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, Barbs. Hey, peeps. So I'm here at LAX Airport at the Norwegian Airlines area. Uh, we're about to head out to Helsinki. So we're here at our first layover in London. And uh, we have a six hour layover. So we're just like, hey, why don't we just go downtown and check out London for like 35 minutes. What do you What do you want to see out there? What? What, what do you want to see out in London? I want to see beer during the day. During the day. <laughs> London day. <laughs> The I relate to that a lot. Hey, look, what do you want to see? I want to see beer. Right, yeah, okay. fair, enough. fair enough. When I fly to uh, the UK, I have a like a thirty minute layover in Iceland, and I'm probably not going to be able to do or do anything. I'm just going to be booking running. it towards uh, You're be my running for the next airplane. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, stay out <laughs> 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 So this is London. We only have like five minutes and then we gotta get back on the bus. Cool. Alright, we just landed. It's about 11.35. We're here in Helsinki. We're gonna go meet Ari. Hey Paul. Yes. What are we doing and where are we going? Uh, we're gonna meet the Prime Minister and we're going to his coffee shop in a mall to meet him. That's how cool he is. He actually just meets up with random people at coffee shops. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's the Prime awesome. Minister of Finland just it's... at a random coffee shop? I love that, man. Man. You know, and I think, I honestly, I think it's because like our media and our government, our everything, just makes it so much of a bigger spectacle of things. You yeah. know that that the let's say the president of the U.S. couldn't just meet random people at a coffee shop. Right. There's so many random hoops you gotta jump through. Yeah. It's not like, hey, I have a YouTube channel. I'm gonna visit your country. Yeah. Can we meet for a little bit? <laughs> no. 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 There's that you need at least a few months to visit the u.s president yeah like um i would say this i would say this it might be easier to meet heads of states in different of different countries in different countries yeah than yeah. it is our country all right i think our country is one of those that set the bar high where an average american will never meet the u.s president ever right right i've I've met governors of states. I've met um, senators. I've never met uh, the U.S. president, and I haven't even come close. Nope. Nope, me neither. Hey, everybody. So uh, I'm here with the prime minister of Finland. What do you feel like Finland can really offer the world? Well, I always joke around, especially in the winter, that Finland is even cooler than you think. <laughs> nice. Off to the Arctic. All right, we're here on the tarmac. We're about to go to Rovaniemi, the Arctic. Let's do this. That's where Santa lives. Yes, that's where Santa is. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah, we're the where you get delivered. Uh, the letters get delivered to Santa Claus. <laughs> it's still so cool. All right. Yeah. So, here's the climate shield. I'm wearing my climate shield thermal. And uh, we're going to go sledding with some reindeer. What? Alrighty. So, we are going to go sledding with some reindeer. It's an inside joke. Let's go meet some fucking reindeer. So, I know we said we would go husky dog sledding, but that was completely booked. So we settled for something else. What? Control. Say, hey, uh, get that man there. Hey, uh, <laughs> <laughs> These dudes.
Jews are like, shake that reindeer ass. Shake that reindeer ass. That's awesome, man. Oh, Dude, man. look at that. Reindeer's basically in the middle of them. <laughs> it's yeah. like, hey, hey, do you have any treats? Apples. <sighs> Dancer needs some. Yep, pretty much. No. This deer is looking straight at me. What do you want? What do you want? Why do you keep looking at me? This is so awkward. So we're at a traditional Lapish restaurant called Nivi. And uh, I was just like, screw it. I'm gonna get the bear. And uh, Gab's got the reindeer. Sure did. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> kind of tastes like beef, but grassier. Oh! Optimal is here to Ah! There's rocks. So I'm here at Kusiarmi uh, sauna area in Finland. These are all sauna houses. You can see it's snowy outside and it's cold. And uh, everybody here is doing the sauna, including Gabs and Ari. And me. And you're supposed to jump into the frozen water. Oh, oh no. Oh, hell no. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I don't think so, Scooter. Ah. Oh, the rocks make it worse. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. All the hands up. Wow. Just Paul film me doing it up. Yep. All right. One, two, three, four, five, and that's it. <laughs> Fat ass. Hey, give me some time for shooting. Hey! <laughs> Come to me, my religion. Come to me. I'm doctor. Press down this stuff machine. Ba -ba -da -ba. I'm hiring to my mother with lust and congratulations. And I'll buy her ice, I shall be seen. <laughs> That's what's up. That's, That's what's awesome, up. man. So we got to enter that contest somehow, some way. If it's still around. It was from 10 years around. ago. Man. I guess we now we got to check out Estonia. Great. Super. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, you this know, that's, that's, that's the best part about this, is just like covering things that we would never in a million years check out. I don't even know anything about it. No. And here we are. Here we are. No. And everything from the eating bear and to reindeer and the saunas and the skinny dipping and the cold. That's, and... that's a question. What you heard his 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 comparison to, or it's it's beef, but it's grassy. What Help me out. What does he mean? What, what could you make a parallel over Earth, here to? What's earthy? earthy? Maybe. Like, what would that, a grassy, grassier beef? What does that mean? I need to know. That yeah. is, that description is, is very interesting. I wouldn't put it for bear, but oh, I can't wait. I would, yeah. I'm definitely trying bear. I don't even have to go. I mean, the best part is I don't have to go to West. I can go to West Virginia. There you go. It's close to, to the both of us. Yeah. Anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing and watching another video. And what else, Dan? Unplug and do something legendary, guys. See y'all in the next one. Later. Later.